Hi, welcome back to Langmaster Channel. My name is Steven. After watching the two previous lessons, you guys have learned what accents are and some differences between the American accent and the British accent. I've received tons of comments from students asking me to give them some tips on how to speak in an American accent. So, in today's video, I'm going to lead you guys through what to do with your mouth to sound American. Here you are. American intonation, do's and don'ts. Rule number one, do not speak word by word. Speaking word by word makes you sound like a robot, and exactly like Vinglish. For example, All right, what do you want me to learn? Tim is in the school. But if we don't speak word by word, what should we do? Which brings me to our next rule. Rule number two. Connect words to form sound groups. This is where you're going to start doing something completely different than what you have done in your previous English studies. Instead of thinking of each word as a unit, think of sound units. Native speakers don't say, Tim is in the school. We say, Tim is in the school. Sound units make a sentence flow smoothly. This is great to know, but the problem is, how do you do this yourself? All right, let's analyze the sentence. Tim is in the school. Look at the ending sounds of each word in this example. Let's read it aloud. Read very slowly the first time, and then try to go faster. Tim is in the school. Faster. Tim is in the school. And faster. Tim is in the school. Don't stop until you reach Tim is in the school. Next, we move to rule number three. Use staircase intonation with long sentences. Staircase intonation not only gives you that American sound, it also makes you sound much more confident. Before doing staircase, find the important words of the sentence. Important words are the words containing the meaning, not the grammatical words like articles, a and the, or words like am, is, are, or uh, prepositions, on, at, in, etc. Right. The important words or key words here are Tim and school. I'll draw you the staircase like this. As you can see, the key words sit above the line and the grammatical words sit below the line. Here are some examples for you to practice. Listen. I did it. I did it. I did it again. I did it again. I already did it again. I already did it again. I think I already did it again. I think I already did it again. I said I think I already did it again. I said I think I already did it again. I said I think I already did it again yesterday. I said I think I already did it again yesterday. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for a suitable English course, then leave your phone number and your email address in the comment box below. I'm Steven from Langmaster Learning System. See you next time.